All right, we are gonna turn our focus to the book that Devin already talked about a little bit. Um, and so this is a big reason why we had Ansley on as our guest today on the podcast. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna let her lead this next discussion. Oh, giving me the reins yeah. over the CEO yeah. of the visionary. All right, I could get used to this. Um, <laughs> I was um, so grateful, so fortunate, so blessed to um, be a very small part of the book um, that's coming out in June. Um, pre-order now yeah um but um yeah i just have some some questions that i'd like yeah. to ask both of you and, and y'all can share jump in whenever um so um obviously you two have a, a a deep respect love excellent communication skills you've built an incredible business 401 locations later <laughs> um and you you have a you have a, a working relationship um along with raising a you know Mm -hmm. a big family. Um, but co-authoring a book has its own unique challenges. Mm -hmm. And I want to let you guys um, <clears throat> talk about what those challenges were. <clears throat> what were your creative differences? How yeah. did you solve them? Um, how did the how did the idea come up? And how did you convince each other to, that this was something that you wanted to do. You're like looking at me like, what are you going to say? I'm going to let you go first. <laughs> yeah, this is unrehearsed, folks. So yeah. we're getting the raw <laughs> truth here. Yeah, you know, I think you bring up some good points that we're both different as far as how we express ourselves, sure. right? You can see that if you follow us on social media yeah. or if you know us personally, you know, I tend to be a little bit more reserved, a little bit more private. Mm -hmm. um, I'm vulnerable about certain things. And then I would say he has just a different approach and he's kind of an open book. And yeah. so... He's already written a book, and obviously yep. when this came about, I think one of our first conversations and one of the first maybe fears I had was making sure we still had a boundary of of, of what my comfort level was, of sure. how much we share, yeah. and then obviously still satisfying his comfort level to share a lot. Yeah. So yeah. I think we did a really beautiful job of kind of meeting, meeting in the middle, and yeah. um, that's a conversation we often have to have, even when we're podcasting together or we're doing interviews together or just anything. It's, he always likes to push the limit a little and mm -hmm. I like to hold back. And, mm -hmm. but that's just what mm -hmm. makes, um, I think our dynamic cool and balanced. why we've been able balanced and mm -hmm. why we've been able to do so much. So yeah. it was, it, listen, this book has been a long time in the making. So I even can't, I can't even put myself back into like some of these early conversations where yeah. he proposed it to me and, um, we made sure that we were both aligned of like how we're going to approach it or when there's a disagreement and it's, it comes with a lot of open communication sure. for sure. And yeah. just a lot of back and forth of what makes the most sense. And what I love so much about this book is it's not just about us. Mm, it's, yeah. and, and I don't, I didn't really want that to be and neither did him. Yeah. It's not about us. It's about this brand and it's the brand's book. We're yeah. just the authors and we're just telling our unique story about it. But there's 14 stories in here about mm. members and really leaning into um, how they were able to achieve those transformations through Burn Boot Camp yeah. and creating the tools around that to help other people that open this book. Yep. So. Yeah. yeah, and all 14 of those stories will be featured on this podcast, everybody. So make sure that you look out for it over the, over the coming months. June 18th is when it drops. And I'm very excited about it. It started, I remember the day it started, uh, it started maybe like two weeks, three weeks after uh, the pandemic hit and we made a decision literally sitting in this studio, Bryce, you were there. Mm -hmm. We made a decision in this studio to close 275 gyms at the time. And you like, look at, you look at My that. Boy. It's like, you know, I don't fear a lot of things, but that was one time when I thought, okay, what if this just goes up and smoke, you know? And like, and it's uncontrollable and there's nothing because we were crushing uh, 275 gyms. I mean, yeah. we had outlooks for 2020 to be like the best year ever. Yeah. And at the end of 2019 um, is when I started thinking about the follow up. And then once the pandemic hit, uh, we then decided to do it. Well, it, you know, we were like every day trying to save the company. But also in the times like that, you're just you're just treading water. Sure. You're just trying not to drown, right? Mm -hmm. And that was the whole system at the time. And so you can only focus on that so often if you want your life to be somewhat happy. Mm -hmm. And so I was just find myself waking up every day just focused on all the problems and like what type of miserable existence is that to just wake up every day and just focus on problems. Right. And that's mm -hmm. when I was like, you know what? Let's do this now. Yeah. Right. Because it's not like we're traveling all over the place. I had all that time back that we didn't travel. Yeah. And so I reached out and uh and I acquired an agent. 
Uh, the agent, uh, we signed the agent and then the agent helped us get with one of the big five publishers. So this book is our publishing partner is Hachette International. Uh, they're a company out of France. They do a ton of big authors. Yep. And that's the reason, uh, going back to August 2018, when we launched my uh, self-published book, Stop Starting Over, that was just so solely authored by me. And that was her and I's uh, decision, though, to say, hey, let's test the waters and let's make publications a bigger part of of Burn Nation. So this was always going to be there. The pandemic just helped speed up the decision. Right. Uh, we get with Hachette. They give us uh, an amazing offer to write the book. We write the book. I work with you. I work with uh, Maggie Greenwood. Shout out to Maggie. Um, you guys were so phenomenal in helping Morgan and I put this together. Um, you know, the, uh, the foundation and the ideas and the concepts and the draft one and all the all the things that go into it come from Morgan and all I. All you. Yeah. yeah all but, but then you guys came through and really shaped it up and helped punch up the stories and make it a really enjoyable book to read. And uh, I actually, so with Dan, shout out to Dan at Hachette, who is the lead person on our publication. He said he's read this manuscript more than he's ever read any manuscript in his 20 years of publishing, because it helps him and inspires him and motivates mm -hmm. him to be healthy himself. Mm -hmm. And he said he usually doesn't get interested in the projects that he works on, except for this one has really a special place in his heart. And he went and visited Sandra Pando up in uh, New Jersey, one of our New Jersey locations, and just was kind of all in on it. And so, yeah. And then Morgan, um, her role was to really read, tweak, read, tweak, read, tweak. My mm -hmm. role was to start with ideas, mm -hmm. start with the foundation. Her job was to make sure that the foundation was solid. And then you guys were in between making sure that every word meant something. The transitions yeah. were good. And so this is a truly a team project. And like Morgan said, the last thing I'll say is, uh, the the reason the reason the, the so the book's written in what would you say Ansley third person it's we third person uh, it goes back and forth actually it's yeah. it's a lot of different stories you tell from your experiences we talk about other people so yeah it's it's all yeah. it's all the things yeah, yeah, the majority of it is we to you so mm -hmm. it's Morgan mm -hmm. and I writing as if we yeah. we are sitting on a couch and yeah. talking to you mm -hmm. and yep. the whole style of the book is that's what I wanted it to be was like a conversation on the couch mm -hmm. like a member was just sitting on the couch and they were talking to Morgan and I and we were coaching them almost like a really long focus meeting is what this is what this book really yeah. is and it yeah. shares the five step strategy to inner and outer strength which was originally our five pillars of burn boot camp and they evolved over the years just like we all do over the years and now it's burn uh, uh believe nourish achieve and and connect and those five pillars are the kind of new modern contemporary representation of what's always been there yep. since the parking lot days yeah. Yeah. I think that's book, so. that's like, you know, it, the five pillars, we've been building that together. So mm -hmm. it's just putting that on paper. And then, yeah. like Devin said, helping, getting help from you guys mm -hmm. to help bring that message to life. Yeah. I do want to call out a couple of things that you just mentioned, Devin. The, um, the fact that Hachette sought you all out and were willing to partner mm -hmm. is, I mean, that's a huge compliment. Mm -hmm. It is a big deal to be um, published by a company like Hachette. And I think it's because this book um, for me is just really raw mm -hmm. from the, from your personal experiences to the transformation stories, to the really even the advice. Um, it's very, like you just said, get eye to eye, look, this is what it's going to take. And that's even part of every single chapter. Mm -hmm. What is it going to take? And it just, it, it does not mince words. It is very straightforward. Um, it is a focus meeting and it, it can absolutely 100% change your trajectory. Yeah. Um, and I think that there's so many people that are going to read this and, and be so inspired to do, you know, to do the things that are necessary yeah. to change and, and we lives. made it and we made it for the gyms we made it for our franchise partners yeah. to put in the gym so bryce mm -hmm. maybe you can comment on that just like from the gym mm -hmm. perspective you run nine of our hq gyms as the vice president how do you see i, I'm, I haven't even asked you this yet actually <clears throat> we're like homeboys we hang out all the time all the time and i haven't asked you this yet how do you see this coming to life inside of the gyms yeah well i i can say what i'm excited about is 
twofold and then whatever I add on to that as I keep talking. But first is really when I, when I think about, when I think about our team, right. I mean, you guys know what it's like. You did it when you, you know, you're building a gym, it's, Mm -hmm. it's fitness hours. You're up early. Like you're just pouring into people. And so we have some gyms that have people in the book, but we have gyms that don't. Right. But it's, it's also just a good time to take a step back and say, what is this brand doing that we are doing inside these four walls Mm -hmm. that they're just not in the book yet, yeah. right? What in that's really what's on my heart is that's who I spend a lot of my time with is the people who are showing up to make all of that happen, right? Yeah. And it's it's their long days. They're you know you're on the floating floor, you're on your feet, you're you're trying to keep up with your calories because you're moving so much, and you're really just doing all of that to make a difference in people's lives. And so to have something that's capturing the power of what we're doing, I'm just excited for our team to be able to have it, touch it, you know, get to know those stories and be inspired to create more of them. And then, you know, beyond that, when I think about the members, tools like this are just so powerful. I mean, we, we talked about the podcast and it's part of what we do. We want to educate. So there there's that, but there's also somebody's going to read the stories in there and be able to relate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or if they can't relate, it's going to provide perspective. And so for me, it, it, both are powerful and, and oftentimes perspective, you know, I'm talking about, I'm crushing these four cinnamon rolls. Oh, and it's like, (laughs) Some of these stories, when you really take a step back and, and you look at what yeah. people have been able to do, it just, yeah. it starts to, um, it, sometimes it facilitates some of that self-awareness, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes it, it creates a productive conversation with myself that leads to, you know, I've got my own journey, but it, it helps me on my own journey. Just sure. yeah. even if I haven't gone through what these people have gone through, I can still put myself in their shoes and say, wow, that's yeah. pretty yeah. impressive. What am I going to do with yeah. what yeah. I have the ability to do? Yeah. yeah, I think that's a really great point. Every time I read, I've been reading the book a lot more. We're getting ready to record on audio. So I'm just going through it again, speaking out loud. And every time I read stories, I'm, I, I cry. Mm-hmm. Like Same. there's tears. Same. And I appreciate the vulnerability so much because like you said, Bryce, someone's either going to relate to that or maybe they don't relate to it so it kind of puts their own life in a different perspective but it also gives people permission to share their story and it you know it touches them in a way that maybe they were hiding something they were stuffing something away for Mm -hmm. so long because they felt shame but then when they read a story in here it may give them that permission to say like hey that's me too to feel those feelings and feel it Mm -hmm. and and deal with it and say okay now I have tools and strategies and if they did it Certainly I can do it too. Yeah. So, um, you know, for me, when, when you pick up this book, you know, after you pre-order it today, after you listen to this, um, I just really hope that you feel empowered. That's, that's my end goal for all of our readers when they turn the last page is to put it down and say, I feel much more empowered. I feel equipped to make changes in my life, to transform a part of my life. And it's that book on the shelf that you can keep coming back to yeah. because we do all need those reminders mm-hmm. often. It's not something that you set and forget. That's just life, yeah. you know, ups and downs here and there, but just that reminder and those tools that sit inside these books. What do you hope people feel when they turn that last page and close the book? I hope that people can appreciate the rawness of it and mm-hmm. then they can correlate that to their own raw feelings that they aren't sharing. Mm-hmm. Because some, I mean, from severe existential alcoholism to sexual abuse mm-hmm. to um, uh, obesity mm-hmm. to uh, gnarly cancer survivor stories wow. mm-hmm. to, I mean, closet drug addict stories in this book. There, It's all the... The stories are very dramatic, but they're very real and they're not dramatized. These are real things that people actually deal with. Real life. That Mm -hmm. they don't want to talk about. Yep. You know, and um, I was, I actually already pre-recorded the interview with a gentleman in the book who is a franchise partner of our North Suffolk location, Brian Waddell. Yeah. And Brian has, he's Mm -hmm. 1,800 plus days sober and- um, he was an alcoholic mm-hmm. and he had uh, shared his story with me when we first became partners and burn really helped pull him out of that and gave him a purpose and gave him a void. My father and my mother both dealt, dealt with substance abuse. Um, and, and there is a real 
I mean, it is a partner for you. Like substances are a partner for you. It sits right here. It sits right Mm -hmm. there. And as soon as it's not sitting there anymore, there's a giant void. Yeah. And, and so, you know, burn has been able to really fill that void for a lot of people that have these uh, that are overcoming and will continue to overcome. Cause once you're an addict, let's say, or you're an alcoholic that never leaves you. That's why Brian keeps a tab every single day. That's his daily goal is my, if I don't do anything else today, I'm just not drinking today. Right. Right. Right? And so that's what I hope ends is that people are able to connect with the rawness of the book, both in my story, Morgan's story, um, she shares for like one of the first times publicly about her uh, father and in yeah. his passing in a car accident early on. And you can read about that and you can read about all the just amazing human beings that are a representation of Burn Nation as a whole. And, and hopefully this brings people's heart um, closer to their head and yeah. they're able to really get some inspiration and walk away from this being like, I'm going to make, I have made rather this decision to be more like Brian. And I struggled. The last thing I'll say is I really struggled during writing this book with comparison is the thief of joy. You guys have heard that before. Sure. Yeah. People say like comparison is the thief of joy. It, it can be. I don't mm-hmm. think that's an absolute statement. I think it's also useful to compare yourself to other people and, 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 and to see where they were at yeah. and to mm-hmm. see where you can go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It opens up a, uh, to me, it's inspirational. It yeah. opens up a pathway uh, in this kind of hierarchy of life to look at other people's scenarios compare yourself to them and say you know what if brian can stop drinking Mm -hmm. i can stop drinking Mm -hmm. right yeah 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 so we'll hear from brian we'll also hear from all the other stories and the next podcast is going to be with one of our members samantha ray she is an amazing burn member at naples florida so you guys are going to be hearing from her she overcame cancer not once not twice but three times it's an unreal story so unreal story and that will be next on the podcast so guys make sure that you have pre-ordered your book that you subscribe to this podcast you never miss an episode